Do you have any confusion regarding ring sideroblast? Are you puzzled whether to call it ring sideroblast or simply sideroblast? Want to know the criteria to be fulfilled before calling it a ring sideroblast? Are you saying yes? Then you are absolutely in the right place. Keep watching this video and if you find it helpful then please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button below to get our future videos instantly. Hello friends you are watching pathology discussion forum and today we will be talking about ring sideroblast. So let's begin. Before talking about ring sideroblast, let me tell you what is sideroblast. Sideroblast is an atypical nucleated erythroblast with granules of iron accumulated in the mitochondria which are present in the cytoplasm but not visible in MgG or hematoxylin eosin stain. These granules are visible only 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 by iron stains such as Prussian blue. They appear as blue dot in the cytoplasm. The presence of sideroblast does not define sideroblastic anemia. The only finding of ring sideroblast which defines sideroblastic anemia. Now what are the types of sideroblasts? There are three types of sideroblasts. Type 1 sideroblasts are those having fewer than 5 siderotic granules in the cytoplasm. Type 2 sideroblasts have 5 or more siderotic granules but not in a perinuclear distribution. And type 3 sideroblast which is also known as ring sideroblast which has 5 or more granules in the perinuclear region which encircles at least one third of the nucleus. So there has to be 5 or more granules in the perinuclear region and it has to encircle at least one third of the nucleus. These are the essential criteria to call it a ring sideroblast. So now it is obvious that ring sideroblast is a type of sideroblast. I think you have got it. Now let's have a look at some of the amazing microphotographs of ring sideroblast. Now if you are interested to know more about sideroblastic anemia then visit the Harvard University website. You can get a lot of information there. The link is given in the comment section below. So that's it for today. Please subscribe and keep watching our channel pathology discussion forum for more interesting pathology related videos. Thank you.